Sick. All right, how's everybody doing today? So let me know how my audio sounds, guys, because I'm trying something to do. As you guys can see, no microphone in the picture. Huh? Oh, okay, is you know, I want it to sound crispy, though. So I got my mic, like... Hold on, let me uh, let me get in the game here. So, how's everybody doing? I'm, well, I'm trying to I'm trying to clean up, you know, clean everything up, make it look a little a little nicer. I was trying to see if I can get my microphone uh, out of the out of the picture, but we'll see. But yes, so here we are, guys. We are back with some more Red Dead Redemption Two. Um, we are on yeah i'm wearing my my, my v-neck island shirt <laughs> um but no yeah we uh last episode we got to chapter five and we're living on a we shipwrecked on an island guys and it was completely unexpected but this is our life now this is our life now um i have no food though that's the main thing. I have I have no food or anything. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to head out. Sounds good. Awesome. All right. So I'm going to head out and I'm going to try to do some hunting so I can cook up some meat. That way I have something to fill my cores. That's going to be uh, like reliable because right now I think I got a couple cans of food to fill my cores. And yeah, these aren't really going to cut it. So we're going to head out really quick. See if we can find some rub. Check and see if no weapon lockers. So this bolt action rifle is gonna be like what I have to use to hunt. Right. I'm, I'm not going for pelts here though. Okay, so which way do I wanna head? Um gotta be careful going up this way. Maybe we'll head out towards this way. If I can even get out that far. I don't know. What the map's like. Um, I don't know if there's going to be patrols of those soldiers walking around or whatnot. It's very, very jungly. Tell you what. There it is. Is that a fucking toucan? Hey, Petro, Petro, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. Welcome. Or is that a parrot? Looks like it might be a parrot. Yeah, it's definitely a parrot. A oh, man. A blue and yellow macaw. I don't even have it. I don't even have a good weapon to kill that. SF, hey, I appreciate you being here. Got a 49 fan, 49ers fan in the house. That means he knows all about my boy Jerry Rice. Okay, so I don't know if there's gonna be uh, like wicked sketch animals out here. It is a jungle type of... Let's head up this hill here. I said I'm just trying to find some type of bigger game. Uh, that way we can get some good eating. I am deadly. What is going on? How you doing? Or I am dead. Definitely. That dyslexia kicked in, man. Oh, okay. So I don't think we can go up there. Nope. 
I've tried World War Z ammo. Yeah, we've played it on the channel. I, it, it was fun, man. It definitely is fun. The only problem I have with games like World War Z is um, it's the same thing with like Back for Blood. It's like those games are cool and they're fun, but I I don't know. It, it's I've never been huge on those th they, games that are like that. I consider those um, like arcadey type games. You know what I mean? And uh, I kill the rest of you bastards. Jesus Christ, man. Yo, should I grab this repeater, though? Compared to the shoddy. That was a hell of a setup right there, man. Um, but yeah, those games feel really arcadey to me, and like I could only play them so much. And that was the thing about World War Z is it, 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 I don't know I like some zombie survival games, and you know what I mean. It's there wasn't much survival in it. It was just kind of like one of those wave games. You just look, wave after wave after wave, and I don't know. I get bored with those kind of games really really quick. So, so far, my favorite gun, I would have to say, is the, um, my, my pistols. I love those damn things. Numbscar, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. There we go. Got some wild boar. I should probably loot those bodies for some supplies. Yeah, that's a good call. Get some more ammo off them. Miracle tonics. Alright, so we killed our freaking... Uh, our dead eye core here. Let's see. So I do got some rum that we could drink. I'll top off our dead eye core. That was a hell of a trap, though. I I, I didn't expect that. We're just out here hunting, and yeah, they had like a pitfall thing. Huh? 
there's a little nut nipple on the back. You'll see it, like, blocking it from going up. You just pull it up. Push it. You got to push it down, though. All right, here we go. We're gonna, I'm gonna nab myself one of these boar. Hopefully, I can kill it in one hit. Some good eating right there. So I'm going to drop the pelt, and I think I might try to get one more. Now give us eight steaks, which should, uh, that should keep us going for quite a while. Didn't run off very far. Get him right up under. Try to get some penetration into his, into his head. Go. Hey, it's it's survival out here, guys. It's survival. Legit. Just seeing your wood is going on. Alright, let's get back to camp. Get this meat cooked up. We'll go check out what this uh, stranger quest is over here. I gotta be careful. <laughs> check the ground that we're walking on. Because that was right, right outside of our camp, too. It's not like that was like way into enemy territory or anything like that, that pitfall trap. All right, let's get this cooked up. The, uh, unglued, so this game is now my number one favorite game of all time. How the hell do I cook, man? It only lets me rest at it. In a barber chair, you can move the camera by holding the middle click. All right. Yeah, Javier, I've done that before. I've moved the camera around when inspecting guns and shit. So for you go then, Morgan. You for some reason, it won't let me cook. <laughs> you have that worker situation to deal with. What are you gonna do? I was told to guard this spot. Just following orders. Uh, of course, Micah. Alright, let's head out. Oh, shit. I gotta, literally got to check the ground. I have not seen that video, Mikus. No. I've seen the thumbnail for it. I've just actually never clicked on the video. So 
me see if there's a camp or something around here. I think that's what we're looking for. We're supposed to be linking up with somebody over here. Oh, I think... Oh, whoa. Savagery Unleashed is the name of this quest. Kinetis! Woo! Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from, I'm asking you? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Bro, you're not even giving us a fucking chance to answer. Wooden chair. <laughs> fucked up, bro. You fucked up. You okay? I don't know. Uh, maybe there's still time to get to the other workers. Oh yeah, uh, my man missing a whole fucking arm, dude. From the other ruins down there. Let's sneak down and take a look. Which way? I'll show you. Baptiste, you don't look good. You should rest here. Okay. You'll need this. Go. Oh. Oh. Go. Did they take all my guns Follow away again? Me. Okay, okay, we got it. We still got. Close behind me. I know a way we can sneak around. Got a knife. Okay, so we still have our handgun. Okay. Keep quiet and don't kill anyone. Uh oh. If they catch us, they'll murder the workers for sure. Quick. Hide. Over there. Okay, they moved. Come on, keep close behind me. Ah, 
I've never played Uncharted 4, no. ¿Qué tal va todo para allá? Ya casi acabo. ¿Saben? Por mucho que disfruto viendo un socialista colgando. Pinche y taco. Toma demasiado tiempo. Pinche y tu madre. Estás enfermo. Toca ver cómo sigan los prisioneros. A ver si el gringo Pinche al gato, pinche. Pinche. Siempre lo hacen. Pinche leche. Lenny! <laughs> okay, rip Lenny, guys. That shit is. I can't believe he's gone. Maldito bastardo! Shoot the ropes! Coming from behind us. Shit. Who fucking started it, dude? Thank you, my friend. I'm Baptiste. I work with Hercule. We owe you our lives. Yes. Thank you. My yeah. pleasure. This place makes me miss home. Take care, my friend. Hercule is getting a boat lined up to get you and your men out of here. Just meet him at Cinco Torres. We'll be there. Good, good. Here, this is for you. Thanks. It's Gracias, not much, señor. but it's the least we can do. Gracias. Good luck getting home. Easy. Sí, sí. Mira, mira. He's gone. Can you can you go to Guarma in online? All right. Yes, Unglue. I actually do plan on playing on uh, New Vegas. Oh, uh, you can't go to Guarma. In the online, that'd be pretty cool. All right, grab some extra ammo. Okay, so we got Dutch's mission down here. I wish I could cook up that freaking meat that we got. That top off my core is so good. Use that. Fix up my... Dead eye a little bit. Let's see, do I have any? I don't. I have this miracle tonic which will fortify everything, but
It seems we're gonna make our way down and then up the other side of this ravine. Maybe there? I don't know if we can climb. Oh, I see somebody waving. Is that... Somebody's over there waving a torch. Oh, it was Dutch, okay. Josh, I appreciate that, brother. All right, let's see if we can cross the water right here. We should be all right. Look at this place, man. It's beautiful. Minus all the angry people trying to shoot us. Hey. Hi. So, uh, what's the plan? Well, I found the cave Herr Cool spoke of, and also a guide. She's up ahead. I think we can trust her. Follow me. The entrance is along here. Just watch your footing. Come on, dude. You think I would fall? Practically a god. So, uh, what do we do when we get Javier? Back? Well, uh, we're gonna get the hell out of here. And set sail for the one place. Ain't nobody gonna be expecting us. Uh, uh, get everybody together. Uh, and get ourselves back on course. Where would that be? Place we just escaped from. <laughs> We're headed back home? You want to go back to San Denis? If it was you got left, you'd want us to go back. I'd want it, but I wouldn't expect That's it. That's the point. Ain't no one gonna expect it. We come back from the dead, gather everyone, and we leave before anyone realizes we've even resurrected. I don't know about that, man. That sounds sketch. You or something? Cause you gone, friend. We look like I'm playing with mouse and keyboard. A bunch of desperados on the run, but with the women, a change of clothes. <laughs> We're a choir or a gang of pilgrims or something. Whatever you say. We're a bunch of penniless fugitives on some Caribbean dump. Sneaking through caves while two of our best men got shot back home. How could I doubt you, Dutch? You got no idea, Arthur. No idea at all. I will do whatever it takes for us to survive. I guess that's what I'm afraid of. Hold on. Why? Gloria! Hi. It's the Saturday. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Dinero, the money, the gold. A key. Damelo. Oh, it's genuine, you old hag. Oh. Vamos. Vamos. Rapido. Now that gold right there, that's the last bit of gold I have in my pocket from the bank. The rest of it is at the bottom of the sea. Exactly. Damn, so all that money from that robbery in San Denis, we got nothing. Yeah. Lenny and Jose have died. We, we got nothing. You know, wasn't Fusar one of the fellas Bronte pointed out to us at the party in San Denis? Yeah. You're right. I knew I'd heard that name before. Yeah. So, I met up with Leon. That situation with the workers is dealt with. Captured, tied up, beaten. Poor bastards. Oh, no, that was me. Are you sure this her Q fellers ain't just using us? Almost certainly. But he's the best chance we have right now of getting out of this place. Won't be long before someone figures out who we are and sends word to the U.S. So what happened with John in that bank? He survived. Unlike dear Hosea and Lenny. The only one they took alive. Why is that, you think? I don't know. 
I was already on the roof. I didn't see it. And Abigail, I presume she was able to slip away in time. What are you talking about? You know, when I look back at all the chaos of the past few weeks, the apparent superficial chaos, I begin to wonder, maybe, for somebody, this is all going exactly. Yo, is he saying what I think he's saying? Yo, is he saying John is the rat? John is snitching? The plan. I uh, still ain't sure what you're saying, Dutch. Nor am I quite, but that many Pinkertons arriving like clockwork once again? Because Abigail is gone and John is gone. They, they survived. You'll have to lift it. Pardon me, my queen. John's been talking extra suspect. <clears throat> Yo. Come help me with this. Just lift it. Okay, then. <clears throat> just, a, just a bit more. Better <clears throat> look for that. Hey, Kriegel, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. Matthias, how you doing? See, then you pay more. Okay. More. Just a second. Pay more. Pay now. Dutch, what are you doing? Jesus. Easy, Dutch. What was that? Horrible old crone. But you killed her. She was going to betray us, Arthur. Couldn't you tell? No. Well, I got some Spanish. She was. You keep killing folk, Dutch. I am just trying to make sure that some of us survive, Arthur. Now, shall we proceed? <laughs> I guess. I don't feel comfortable anymore, guys. Listen, <clears throat> son. You think I want any of this? I don't know. Of course I don't. But I made a pledge to you all. We would survive. No matter what. So how did you know she was going to betray us? What'd she say? It was in her eyes. In the way she was leading us. But you said you knew Spanish. I know human beings. Arthur. <laughs> Alright, so I... I... You want to strangle me next? I don't I don't trust what he's saying about I'm doing the best I can. John anymore. <laughs> Motherfucker's losing this shit. I do not understand. Who are you? I come from Mexico. I never met those men. Does anyone believe him? <laughs> Mr. Simon doesn't believe you. Even the mule doesn't believe you. <laughs> ben Allen with the five months, brother. Thank you so much. Sabemos que no estuvo tan fuerte. Fue bastante duro. <laughs> no, la próxima vez será aún más duro. <laughs> bueno, ha sido un placer. Siempre me encantaron los mexicanos. Vamos, carajo. This way. They're all listening to that fool. They won't notice us if we stay quiet. We need to deal with them. Well, I'm sure you got some ideas. Shut up and help me kill them. I count. You take the one on the right. I'll take the left. The count, bro. You so didn't much for the count to three. You weren't fucking okay. counting. Let's hide the bodies. You grab that one. Over here. Fucker says uh, on my count and then doesn't even count. Let's head around the back of the building and see if we can find a way through. 
Well, maybe he was going to do it like this, and I and obviously he wasn't going to. Oh, that was my bad. Yeah, I think I was supposed to watch him. <laughs> that makes that makes sense. My bad, Dutch. I take it back. Let's go in there. Uh, well, you know me, Arthur. We'll cause ourselves a little distraction, and then poof, we will disappear. Nosotros take the other side of this door. Tienes algo de tomar? ¿Cómo sabías? Porque te conozco. Sí, escondí una botella. Voy a buscarla. Gracias. Gracias. Okay, you take the nearest one on the left. I'll deal with his friend. Sí, sí. Mierda. Es lo más bajo de una civilización. Pinche gato. Over here. Pinche pero. Okay. And Bob, with the eleven months, brother. Thank you so much. Another old lady to strangle. That is enough, Arthur. This is a war. Well, if this is a war, then we need to start blowing some stuff up. Exactly. You need dynamite? Oh no, we don't need dynamite. We got a furnace and lots of sugar. Sugar? Oh yeah. No problem. You'll see. Go close the windows and the doors. Go on quick. Sugar. Am I missing something, guys? Okay. We are nearly there. Sugar is quite flammable, really? I did not know that. That's crazy. Kindly. All right, head on out and wait for me. I'll get this going. Should we get you away? better hurry. Follow me. Okay. I don't want to be too close to that building when it goes up. Neither do I. Come on. We can hide behind that well. That place has to blow soon. Get ready to make a run for Javier. Come mierda, imbécil! 
Come on, Dutch. You okay? Yeah, I figured as much. Thank you. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Follow me. This way, stay with me. You okay there? I'm here. Oh, shit. I think he's passed out, Dutch. We got more left here. Where the fuck did all of those dudes come from? They were everywhere. I, I guess I was supposed to run. Yeah, definitely was supposed to run. Let's go. Come on. Shit, they're coming out after us. Arthur, you got them. I did not them. Down towards the river. Oh, yeah. I can just repeat what they say to me, and I sound like I know what I'm talking about. Stay here. Take care of these fools a bit. No problem. Go quick. This will give us a It's like I said, Fusa knows who you are and knows the price on your head. It's a big problem. Uh, I see. But if we can silence him, then I can help you escape before anyone has time to get here from America. That way, we all get what we want. We want. Victor, to thank get you so much for the sub. Promised us. And you will. But you have found yourself in the middle of a war, my friend. Fuso has called in the Navy from Cuba. There's no way a boat could leave right now. Hercule! Hercule, s'il vous plaît! Vite! Vite! Come. Follow me. Hey guys, thank you so much for already 150 likes. I really do appreciate that. What's going on? So now we have a real problem. This must be the boat he called in from Cuba. That's a goddamn warship. You kinda have to hand it to this feller. 
So I guess great minds think alike. So what now? We Shit. fight all we want. Any of you boys feel like running? So what do we do? I will go get the cannon ID. Okay, let's get to it. <laughs> Morgan. Morgan! Shoot that man! Shoot them! The fellers on the beach! I see. There's more coming down the right side of the beach! Let's prepare the welcoming party. Why the hell are we doing this? This ain't our fight! Do you want to get off this island or not? He's using us! Look out on the left here, boys! You said you were getting us a goddamn boat, Hercule! Yeah. I am! What do you want me to do? We are trapped up here! Them bastards are almost at the fort! Gun them down! How kind of cannon is this, man? Oh, we do? You cover the right. Okay. And you take the left, Hercule. Okay. Good luck. There's another boat coming in on the left.
Gentlemen, back to the fort. Damn. Damn. He's getting closer. What do we do? Two of us must go and use the cannon. You go, Arthur. I'll gladly hold him off this beach a while longer. You sure? Just certain, son. Pa -pale. You think that cannon will be enough? Only one way to find out. Christ's sake, how many men has Fusar got? That's the problem. It doesn't matter how many we kill. He will have the money to get more. Watch out! Down! We will have to climb up around the side. This way. With Luke. That one's going back for the Cossa Conar. I got it. Let's go. More shot. Aim for the water knife. We need to put a serious hole in that boat. From here. Come on. That was quite some shooting, boys. Thank you. What now? Oh, they'll be back. But I found a boat for you. And he should be arriving on the dock any time now. Great. Micah, go meet with the captain. If he's amenable and discreet, tell him we'll be ready to set sail soon. Bill, come help me collect poor old Javier. Sure. And cool. It was a great pleasure to make your acquaintance. <laughs> That man got money if he could sit there and hire a goddamn warship. That was intense. That was definitely intense. I thought I was dead for sure. Hi, boys. We got a real problem. Nice Mr. Fusar don't want us going nowhere. He knows just who we are. If he can keep us here for a few more days, well... And what about the captain of the ship here? They got him trussed up like a hog. Guards all over the place. Got us surrounded with gun positions, so when we try to sail out, he's gonna blow holes in us. This fella is really beginning to try my patience. He ain't even had you tortured yet. <laughs> I like the man's style. He's thorough, nasty, and vindictive. However... In this instance, I don't see we got any alternative, but we go and free our friendly captain and destroy the artillery. For once, I agree with you. Here, cool? Oh, I'll fight Alberto Fusa every day I can. All right. Bill, you're gonna guard Javier on the ship here. Micah, Arthur, let's get to work. Here, cool? We follow you. Hanale, this way. Yo, we're like some special forces, like cowboys. Post. Michael, what's going on? How you doing? There's two guards. Arthur, come on. Get your knife ready. I'm gonna say it like that. You take out the first guy, and I'll get the other one, okay? Okay, we're clear. Let's plant the explosives. 
Zach, how you doing, brother? You got it secured properly, cowpoke? I think so. Knowing you, I have my doubts. Shut up, Mike. <laughs> so Mike is a... Uh... <laughs> Come on, run! Explosive expert. <laughs> Here we go. Who got the bomb? Us. Come on! There's another set of cannons up ahead. He fired at me, boy. With the super chat, I think you guys earned your stripes now to be in the special forces. U.S. Army should pardon your crimes and give you special dice. That's what I'm saying. That is what I'm saying. Head up these stairs and get the rest of them. Wait here for a second for the others to catch up. I'll get the dynamite rigged on these cannons. There'll be more coming. We'll hold them off. Up here, Arthur. We'll have a better view. Look, more Hussar's men coming through the fields. Okay, come on. Let's pick them off before they get too close, huh? Dead? Oh, oh, oh. I got you now, you bastard. We are all bastards, my friend. But only one of us is some would-be emperor's whore. We know who you are. And nobody knows who you are. Not even your goddamn father. You maggots are going to die. Eventually, I'm sure we will, but not today, not because of you. The U.S. Navy is on the way. I am sure they are, mm. which is why you're going to let us leave. 
Or you are dying right here, my friend. We've killed better men than you fools. Enough? Oh, I've had enough of this, Arthur. The rifle? Sure. Are you men gonna give up? Let us leave? Are you gonna die? Put your guns down. I, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. Enough. Oh, I've had enough of this, Arthur. The rifle? Sure. Are you men gonna give up? Let us leave? Are you gonna die? Put your guns down. Here! Gotta work. You saved my life. Thank you, Captain. I suppose you men are my cargo. Dutch Vanderlyn, I am sorry you got hurt. Uh, Captain Sam. Let's go. Gentlemen! Ship. Come on! What happened to Fushan? He escaped? I didn't see him! Damn it! They have set the enforcements! Who shot? Another one! Shoot him! This one on the rock! Come on! Let's finish this corner! Of that. In the tower? Yes. Yes, that's him. Oh, this goddamn idiot. Come on! He's shooting. We have to come down. Ate, there's another cannon. Go. I got it for you, Javier. <laughs> Captain, can you handle the ship? I'll be fine. Come on. We'll get going with the tide before I get any more surprise interviews with local officials. Are you gonna be okay? We'll be like you. We'll disappear probably. Back to IT. Believe me. We'll be long gone by morning. Good. Thank you. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> we survived. Just Can you about. please say you golly? You golly, what is that? There it is, guys. There it is. What now? What now? What do you mean, what now? I mean, we're headed back to Lemoyne again, and we're all wanted men. <laughs> we slip ashore one by one, find out what's what. We don't cut and run now. Head back to Blackwater. No. Why not? Because 
The last thing they'll be thinking is for us to turn up. We've been on the run for a while now, and it feels like... like our luck has turned. You know? And I ain't turning back. We had a good run of it, I guess. We ain't even played our hand yet. What do you we mean? We just need to put some more money in our pockets. Make our escape. Broke, alone, they're gonna pick us off one by one. And you know it. Maybe. Not. Maybe. We need to split up. Keep a low profile. Try to track down the rest. But carefully. See if they send any mail. Arthur, you check Shady Bell. We'll find each other eventually. We always do. And then what? Then we meet up. We gather the family, we get some money, and get the hell out of there. That's the plan. We all acting crazy. And uh, that's not what I thought we were going to be doing here. We have here. been in a bad way. Listen. I will kill for my family. Any of you want to judge me for that? That's fine. But that is who I am. Anyone disagree? Anyone? Man, is he really gonna have us try to get more money? Like, dude, we gotta have enough. Casual, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. It's too much, man. Like, he. We're done. We haven't got the money at this point. We're done. For the gang at Shady Bell. Senor, hey, thank you so much. I appreciate that, brother. Can I just steal this person's horse? A nice looking ass horse. Go. The Shady Bell, guys. Oh, we beat the game. Yeah. There it is. Gone. Lenny. Hosea. You here? Hello? Shady, Pearson.
Yo, where'd my fucking mattress go, dude? They moved on. Melton keeps sending us back every day to search this place. There quite clearly isn't a gang of outlaws held up here. Look, those are fresh footprints. Looks like someone might be here right now. Sure, someone is here. There's always someone everywhere. Well, let's look around, then. see if we can find something for Mr. Milton. Mr. Milton? I'd like to find a poison snake for him. That's enough, Mr. Johns. You take Mr. Bunter and search around back. Mr. Orley, let's head inside. Gentlemen, be careful. I thought the Pinkertons would be a little, uh, a little tougher than that. Tacitus, I do so hope you enjoyed your vacation. Lucky you, leaving like that. And you always suggested you were too old for travel. I hope you and your cousins enjoyed yourselves. Me and your grandnieces have decided to take a trip of our own, as the place has become so dreary and godforsaken in your absence. We have gone to visit relatives. From my daddy's side, you are not yet acquainted with them, in Lacay, a small village just north of Saint Denis. It's buggy and muggy, but apparently neither is too bad at this time of year. Please come see us when you can. Yours sincerely, Caroline. Hey, hey. Well, thank you, darling niece Caroline. I guess I'm coming to see you in Lacay. Where's our new hair horse that we stole? Come on, girl. Yep. I can't wait to get my stuff back. Jesus, Pinkerton's had any money.
Uh, I'm gonna catch a fucking boot from one of them damn horses. I'm interested to see where they're camping now. Oh man, we're in the fucking swamp mill for sure. Yeah. Hey. That Abigail? Hey, that's Abigail. Arthur! Arthur's here! Oh, Arthur! Oh, you're alive! Just about. Come inside. Come on, look it's raining. You. Hey, everybody, look who's here. How y'all doing? Hey, old man, wake up. Hey, Arthur, they got John. Good to see you. Yeah, he got arrested. He ain't hung yet? Not yet. They moved him to Sisica. He's been working on a chain gang. Uh, howdy. <laughs> oh, man. So maybe John didn't betray us. How did you folks find each other? What happened? Can can somebody give me a cup of coffee or something? Yeah. Mrs. Adler, who saved us, Dutch? After the robbery in Saint Denis, she got us away from the camp before the Pinkertons turned up. Then Mrs. Adler and Mr. Smith drove away the degenerates of her living here. Mrs. Adler, we owe you. Yes. 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 <laughs> Thank you. It's been real hard, Dutch. We we've been surviving, but only just. What we gonna do? Things have been tough. There ain't no doubt about that. Trust me. I am gonna get us out of here. This ain't over. Ain't none of you folks interested in our adventures? Mm. Guess we're more <laughs> interested in escaping the hangman on our tail? Cheerful nymph of the prairie, wasn't you, Abigail? Oh, sure. My fair heart jumps for joy when I set eyes on you, Micah. <laughs> We buried Jose a Dutch. Charles and I stole his body from the law one night and gave him a proper burial. It was real nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, here you is. Well, I asked everyone I could find, and eventually someone new said you fools were out here. Shit. Give me a drink or something. Get your own damn drink. In our absence, Mrs. Adler here has been looking after things. Yeah. Now sit down. This is Agent Milton with the Pinkerton Detective Agency. Already? On behalf oh, of shit. Cornwall, Kerosene, and Tor, the United States government, and the Commonwealth of West Elizabeth. Here we go. We are here to arrest you. Come out with your hands up. Give them to a count of five, then give them everything. Already? Actually, let them have it. Ask everyone you could find, did you, Bill? This is real bad. Just stay down, Ollie. Shit. Well, this camp didn't last fucking long. Oh, I got my babies. Well, one of my babies. Where are we going? This way. There's a trap door into the other house. We can try to flank them. Strength, and you may mistake. 
stake it for brutality! There is no escape for any of you! I shall hunt you to the ends of the earth and the end of time! I killed your friends! Really start to irritate me! Arthur. Oh, man. Bill and Sadie. <coughs> you okay, son? Sure. We ain't been back for more than a few days. What, what do we do, Dutch? Clearly, we need to leave. It'll take them some time to regroup. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, start packing up. Javier, you and Bill, get out of here. Go scare off any scum still loitering about. We need a couple of days. Now! Please, gentlemen. Sorry. What next, Dutch? We just need some time. I just, I, I need some time. Now, we can't go east, because then we'll be in the ocean. So we're going to have to go north, I guess. I just need somebody to buy me some goddamn time, one of you. You'll figure it out, boss. You always do. What are you going to do about John, Dutch? John? He's in jail. Well, we'll get him. Abigail, just not, not yet. There's talk of hanging him. It's not going to come to that. Dutch! Not now, Miss, I... Not now. I'm begging you to. They're gonna hang him and break my... The boy's heart. Please, do something. We will. Okay. I'm gonna go figure out how we rescue this bastard. Now? Yes, now. Give me a Doyle's Tavern, a million Avenue. Okay. My lord, what a goddamn mess. Everything. Not sure what happens next. Whole yo, Abigail is savage, yo. Home. She's just like, yo, can you find Dutch? And it's like, or, uh, John. It's like, Most yo, all, Dutch, we got problems. Who seems half crazed by all we gone through. Right. Got my horse back. We got my horse back. Welcome to the family, son. Never made it with the two months. How you doing? Hey, 
check my bags here. Yo, let me see. Do we got a campfire around here? I can cook up this meat. Get ourselves cleaned up a little bit. Oh man, why can't I cook at these damn fires? It's all good. So we'll uh we'll store this one. Store that. All right. Got our semi-auto shoddy. Um On my Lancaster repeater on the horse, and rare rolling block. There we go. We should be all right with that setup. Morning. What's up, little Jack? How you doing, Jack? I'm scared, Uncle Arthur. All that shooting. Oh. Uh. We're gonna move somewhere safe, okay? Well, try to keep your head straight. Yeah, sure. Poor little Jack, man. That's gotta be rough for a kid, you know what I mean? Like... Some reunion, huh? Well, at least you're alive. So what now? You got a couple of days to work that out. Okay. Guess I'll see you later then. Okay. Yes, hi. We gotta figure out how to get John. Yes, hello, Mr. Morgan. Hi, Susan. Yeah, they really didn't go that far from uh from camp. Or from the city. You think they would have moved a little further away, but they probably obviously didn't want to go they couldn't move too far, obviously. With how crazy things got. Yep. Alright. We're gonna go link up with Sadie. Hold on, let me check let me check the map. We got any side quests anywhere? Ranger missions. Okay, yep, so I got my babies on me. We got our we got our babies back. Uh conditions is looking good on both of them. Christ. How was that all about? He was mauled by something. Come on now, 
boy. Okay there. Nope. Dude, should we go hit the barber? Let's go hit the barber real quick. Look at that horse. Oh. Right yeah, I got a lot of money. Got a lot of money. So one thing about the, I don't know if online you have more stuff to spend money on, but in the base game, uh, I feel like you start building up your funds pretty quick. Something fancy like. All right, so we're going to take our hair down a little bit. Hmm, I say you look ready for a portrait now. Well, we were out on the island, so we had to take our beard down a little bit. Arthur looking real sick though around the eyes. See, it not look good. Oh, that should be better. Fuck yeah, and say his eyes are all bloodshot. And she's definitely looking mighty fine if I do say so. Well, I guess we're all done here. Looks like man, he looks like he's feeling like shit, dude. <laughs> That's fucking rough, dude. Mister, are you okay? Mister, are you okay? Are you okay, mister? <laughs> mister, you don't look so good. Let's get you to a doctor. I want to be all up in my face like that, man. Come on, it's not far. Just down the street here. <laughs> Let me give me a minute. <laughs> give me a minute. <laughs> I'll be fine in a minute. You head in there, friend. Go on. You really stand out looking like that. 
Can I help you? Doc, I, I need a doctor. Oh, uh, just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Come in. <laughs> Mister, I need some help. And so it seems. <coughs> and that's Dr. Mister to you. I'm sorry. Uh, I was joking. Look, friend, I don't mean nothing, but you got money? I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, let do you. Uh, sure. Thank you. Now, what's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard them. I'm, I'm coughing. Uh, is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh-huh. Okay, now here. Breathe. Again. Yeah. Let me see your tongue. Say ah. Ah. What is it? It's not good news. Well, I guess that. You got tuberculosis. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. What you mean? You're real sick. You. It's a progressive disease. And you'll be. TB is not the best thing is rest. And getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in California. No, it's not possible. Well, he lights smoking in front of me. Like I said, I, I'm real sorry. Yeah, well. Yeah, oh, wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today. George Williams, thank you so much for the sub, brother. I appreciate it. Fucking deer. Little of the city. While sick, you'll only gain a benefit from consuming a limited amount of food and drink. Oh shit. Come on. Good shape, man. <coughs> mm. 
Any problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in... Um... Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems... I don't know. Seems as... What began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So that too. Well, we got Lenny's body out as well. Bribed the morgue and buried them together. Follow me. Lenny! Easy. So, what's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. What? It's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. A hot air balloon? Are you serious? Now, the pilot, or whatever you call it. Never, guys. That's my one thing I, I'll never mess around with. A bit of a tour. <laughs> He's quite Fucking the hot character. air balloon. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. The whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Karen's gone falling fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson, well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So I guess it ain't all gone to shit. That's a legit hot air She a beauty, ain't she? Never, dude. From here on the ground, yes. Guys, I've skydived. Mr. Bullard? I've done, I would never Mr. Bullard. go on a hot uh, air balloon. Mrs. Moon. Adler, it's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah, uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Shit. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, and Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha, ha, ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, well, it's quite a thing. <laughs> quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah, well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? We can't. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you fucking vapors. On. No, 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 Are no. Are you sure no. about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, uh. pull on that rope oh. and hope for the best. Ah. What about with the, with the vapors? I got the vapors. How did you get out of this? <laughs> I got the vapors, dude. Just give it a good yank. Don't be shy. Up, up, and away. Right. Time to catch a few vapors of our own. Yeah, I don't want the vapors, overcast, dude. But I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. That's pretty cool, though. We should still have some decent views over the river. How the fuck do you steer these now, things, though? Hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids. Do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. A decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. Keep going, sir. We need to get up above the clouds. Why do we really need to go up there, up there, dude? You'll have seen nothing we like can it. see everything from right here, bro. It's completely unnecessary to go any higher than this. I'm good.
Teddy wins the race. All right, then, let's break through these clouds. Keep on going, you're doing splendidly. Heavenly indeed. It's... Quite remarkable, isn't it? Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. This particular vessel is state-of-the-art, sir. Imported from Europe. You won't find more than a couple of these on this side of the pond. So long as it works. You sure you shouldn't be doing this? Not at all. A child could operate this with a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We have plenty of those. She did, did she? Okay, we're getting a little high now. was a keen student of the Italian eight. My brother's called Baldessario, so you could say I got off lightly. Look, I I'm trying to concentrate here. Whoa there, no need to go any higher. for miles now. Yeah, that is gorgeous. Did you breakfast in the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. <laughs> I think I'm all right, thank you. <laughs> Recalling the ablutions uh, discussion. Well, just say the word. So, if I may ask, what got you interested in the pursuit of aviation? I didn't, exactly. Uh, Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise me. Ah, a very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? I did not, Mr. Bullard. See that building up ahead on the island? That's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Well, you want a happy customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny now. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. But I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly isn't the easiest to control, you know. I can't believe we're doing this. That's not him. Best try another spot. Nope, not there. Looks Looks like him. It's hard to tell, though. Yep, that's him. Ah! My God! 
What are you doing? They're shooting at us. I can see that. Ascend! Ascend! Come on, dude. They're gonna put a fucking hole Didn't in us. I tell you this would happen. This is absolutely insane. Oh, the wind speed is picking up. We should stay at this altitude. It's heading northwesterly, so that should take us back to land. Here, God, I'm shaking like a leaf. Alright, we're in the clear now, Mr. Bullard. Get up. Good lord! My heart is pounding! <sighs> Surprised they didn't pop the damn thing. I must say, the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. <laughs> Annisburg. Sure. Good lord. Is that... Is that Mrs. Adler? We're... Being chased. Yes. Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. I'm starting to rather enjoy this. What about her vapors? What about her vapors? I don't think so. 
Maybe. Oh, damn it, look. There's more of them on the other side. They must have followed us. Get behind something. This ain't over yet. These goddamn old Driscolls. You can't leave it for one day. Just kill these sons of bitches. Stay out of trouble for one goddamn <laughs> hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They got Combe, the government. They got Combe O'Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're gonna make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston. You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> From a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. Milan, thank it's you so much for the, the sub. I appreciate it. And guys, thank you for almost 350 <laughs> likes on two the stream. Is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a bump, a little one, and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that. Woo. Didn't expect to be fight fighting from a hot air balloon. Not how I seen this day going. Should be able to get a decent amount of bullets off these bodies. Eighty-five cents. There it is. I got to use some. Uh, we got to eat. Fuck, Arthur, you don't like my food, bro? I don't think Arthur like my food. Modded pistols? No. These are the, uh, the 1988s. 
Or the 1899s. Nope. They're semi uh, semi automatic handguns. Nice rate of fire. I seen somebody asking how was I shooting so fast earlier. So you have uh, in Red Dead, if, if for you guys that don't know, um, there's two different f shooting styles. So you can aim your guns like this and then and, and then shoot, but then you can also just fire from the hip where you don't aim at all and um, you actually shoot wicked fast when you're firing from the hip, especially if you have a revolver. Um, he'll sit there and like work the revolver like super quick. Um, and when you sh fire from the hip, I'll show you guys, you can literally, you can, you can shoot really, really quick. All right, let's go, uh, let's go set up a camp. Let's see if I can get the rest of this meat cooked. A lot of bodies over here. We might be able to loot. Let me see if we can set up. Um You should have these guns on console. Oh, mister, am I glad I found you? I am colder than blue belly hell out here. Could I warm up by your fire just a bit? All right. I guess you can sit a while. Oh, I sure do appreciate this. You, 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 you won't even know I'm here. Okay. Oh, I got myself rightly turned around out here. Yeah, is it two days or or more? <laughs> Oh, Jerry Ann guzzled up all the chitterlings, so I go out hunting squirrels. Only Esther still got my damn warm britches. And I got poor circulation, even at the best of times. So, oh, November, my feet, they always turn brown. <laughs> so I glug some shine to keep myself warm. <laughs> Up on a river bank, shivering like a shitting dog. <laughs> the Donald, thank you so much for the sub. I get lost real easy. You ever heard of a place called Butcher Creek, mister? Uh, uh, Our entire village has been marked by the demon stealing our bodies and our minds. And we have all been cursed, and ain't nothing we can do but just wait our time. Wait. Why are you looking at me like that? Now, I don't know if I like you, mister. You got the same look my uncle has. I'll take my chances. You stay away from me. <coughs> I, okay. Don't know what the hell that was. Um, but she said something about Butcher Creek. We might have to try to find that location. That sounds pretty dope. Is that somewhere we can actually go? Gasp, I don't know what look I gave her, dude. I was just sitting there, man. I was just sitting there, brother. Butcher Creek. We're gonna, have to, we're gonna have to try to figure out where that is.
Maybe we'll head over there in the morning. Oh, I'll come across it. And we had all that meat from uh, when we were on the island. I got I got to get it cooked up. Super good for our cores. Arthur's starting to look a little bit better, though, guys. Oh, no, uh, that wasn't even the meat from the island. That was just other meat we had on us. Cooking up them boars out in the middle of the swamp. Got crazy people walking up to our campsite. I feel like we need to go um, start looking into the night people. Cause I haven't, I haven't looked, we haven't found or seen, we heard about the night people in that one mission, but we haven't seen any of them yet. You see a fire over there though. What the hell is that? Side quest up here. I wonder if that's one of the nighttime available ones. Mike, and we got a one with the mayor too. I wonder if I can make it over there in time. What time is it? It's one in the morning. I'm uh, gonna try. Yeah, I'm gonna go check out that question mark. That's what I'm interested in. I want to. I I love the side quests in this game. They're 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 literally just so good. Well, hopefully we can make it up there while it's still available. If. But yeah, we're gonna have to try to hunt down the. We're gonna have to try to hunt down the night folk at some point. I don't know how to do it, or at least I don't mean not hunt them down, but at least see them. Uh, we got a we got a mission right here. partner you okay hell you, you hell. sick partner uh, it's in Whoa. me they're in me yeah, you're not well friend uh, butch is crick butch is crick uh, where uh, butch is 
Creek. Is that where you're from? Butch's Creek. You want me to take you back, or there ain't uh, me? Uh, well, come on, let me get you home. Oh, Butcher's Crick. Crick. <laughs> Not Creek. Butcher's Crick. <laughs> Demons. Okay, fella. Demons. Oh. Butcher's Crick. Oh, there's Butcher's Creek right there. Who are you? And demons aren't real, brother, so... <laughs> In the Red Dead universe, we ain't gotta worry about demons. There was aliens, though. There was an alien spaceship. this place this is butcher's crib you Actually, yeah, place him or we're gonna throw <laughs> Yeah, he uh, seems calmer now. I found him out in the woods. Oh, Lemuel, sweet Lemuel, such a nice man, such a good man. Come here, Lemuel. come on, get up here, help you. Since the troubles began, he's just, he's not the same. It's in me. Why is he looking at me funny? Uh, no, he, he's not well. It's. It's, it's the darkness. It, he said it's the darkness. Who says it's the darkness? Well, the village is... Well, thank you, sir. No, thank you so much I for the sub. Thank you for... Lim ah, ah, me! <laughs> please, please, sir. Ah. Oh, man, I turned over a new leaf, you brother. Not well, sir. Uh, you got yeah. anything for me? Oh, yeah. Of course, sir. Love and friendship in the darkness. What else are there? Obadiah Hinton, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> love and friendship. Friendship and love. We're not a rich village, sir. But with love, rich. We thank you. Okay. Oh, now we got Butcher's Crick. Okay there. How's things? I'm damn cursed. How you think? <laughs> my man got one whole boot on. It's too close to me. Sorry, partner. In a world of my own. This how you try to amuse people? My man, <laughs> look for a pig mask. I hear butcher's crick. John Cassidy, thank you for the sub. How you doing today?
Well, at least they don't seem like behind the scene cannibals. Look out! Howdy. Stupid man. Calm down. I what? Why are you calling me a stupid man? Everybody here is so mean. Let's see, is that side quest up there gone? Still available at the moment. Hey there, partner. Ass what? All right, simmer down. They're making it real hard, guys. Making it real hard for me to not just shoot every fucking person in this goddamn village. And the animals. Damn. Mister? Stupid man. Fuck you too, asshole. At least the dog's nice. Come here. You okay, boy? Rough looking, but a rabid looking good dog. Gentlemen, stranger. Wait, what's up with that dude? He looks like something out of Resident Evil. Stranger. I always say, manners cost nothing. Cursed, all right. Howdy, fellas. All right there. Alright, well, where the hell is this pig mask at? Good morning. Good morning to you. Hey there. Ass what? I swear to God, dude, I will fucking end you. Oh. In an open stall? I mean, that potty over there? Over near the butcher's table? <coughs> Makes sense.
the one next to me. <laughs> See it in here. Will, thank you for the sub, brother. I appreciate it. Mask is in the building. Dude, I didn't see no mask. I even went eagle eye and nothing is glow. Oh, there it is. I see it. On the post here. <clears throat> That's pretty gross. That's pretty gross. You sure enough, that's not wear that around here. Or else what, partner? Or else what? You guys are lucky I got places to be, people to do, and things to see. That would have been it, partner. That would have been it. So we're going to head up here to this quest. Mark with the super chat. Thank you so much. Well, that went well. Seem like nice folks. Yeah. <laughs> but seriously, Mark, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it, brother. And guys, thank you for four hundred. <laughs> Partner, what's up now, buddy? Oh, no, 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 you ain't running from it. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Fucked up now. Free me now, and I'll kill you quick. You're coming with me. Anisha, thank you so much for the sub. God damn! How you want it, partner?
I mean, there's already a hole. There's already a grave dug. You want to? You want? Do you want to go in this grave? Pig mask. Yeah, I don't even know how. Where do I even get that from? I gotta get off my horse. I think. Time, partner. It's time. How did you think this was gonna go? Huh? I almost walked in that fucking hole. Good spot. There's a good spot. Oh. Missed. Oh. My uh, partner. Ah. Uh, you wanted to mess with me? Ah. Uh? But you know what? Turned over a new leaf. You should be more careful. You paperback coward. What do these hicks think they're up to anyway? I tried to give him a chance, guys. I tried to turn, I, I tried to, you know. <laughs> Put him in the hole. You guys set up an ambush for me. That was self-defense. That was 100% self-defense. On, bud. Come on, Gav. Come on. What? I, I miss you. No, it's not funny. Here? How the? F how the hell did? What? I, come back to me. I can't believe this. I thought we were friends. I thought we were gonna conquer America together. Please, Gav. Good morning. Please, tell me you've seen Gavin. I don't even know what he looks like. Big bloke, Cockney, Londoner. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> oh, we've had such times, me and Gav. <laughs> no, sorry. I've yet to meet any hilarious Londoners. Oh, he's the best. Gavin! <laughs> oh, I am so worried. Gav! Gav! Uh, Gav! Where are you? Where are you?
Oh, that's really... Gavin! Gav! In! Gav! In! Alright, let's go ahead and throw our hat back on. Let's head out to... Uh, let me see. Poor dude, man. Like, I don't understand how he's out here looking for Gavin. Yeah. I mean, he is a real bro looking, you know, he's going, he's, he's going to the edge of the earth looking for Gavin. Hey there. Easy. Whoa, whoa. There, boy. There. Shh. Yeah. I hey, got a nice deer right there. That was the naked guy. Oh, I heard that howl too. Shit. I missed it. Do you think I could go back over there? Or do you think I got too far away from it? That was over near the, the water crossing over here. Might be able to still get him. Yep. Quick load. Let me see. Where was the... You motherfucking wolf. God damn it, man. Fucking wolf, bro. I don't even say which way he went. He's in a cave. Let me see. So where would the fucking cave be?
down this way. Since when do they do that? Dude? Did I pass it? Oh, let's keep going. Okay. Here's somebody. Caves over here somewhere. See no fucking cave. In the river? This is the Pick All right, well, let me see something real quick. So I want to find this fucking dude. Game This was uh nah, it's too long ago. Auto save.
I had him, man. I literally had him roped. And then the fucking wolf. I don't even understand this autosave. Yep. Whatever. Yeah. Let's get some food in Arthur. Man's having a hard time eating, dude. Yep. And my my rape my rope was wrapped around his na naked wolf man body. We had him. Oh, what's going on here, partner? Listen, fool, stay the hell away. <laughs> what is this? Hey. You ain't got no business being here. Hey! What are you doing there? So you... Let's see about stupid, this. stupid, huh? You're the... Shouldn't have messed with me, should you? <laughs> Hello, sir. Really? Now it looks like I'm the one. <laughs> no, I. It wasn't me, dude. I was just. That guy didn't want no part of it. He was like, Howdy, sir. Just kept it moving. Josso, thank you so much for hanging out tonight. I did, guys. I only I would I didn't want to kill that guy. I, I just defended myself. He pulled a gun on me. This was supposed to be our little adventure. <laughs> All we need is each other. That's what you said. Uh you all right there? Who are you? Oh, it's okay, ma'am. I don't mean you no harm. <laughs> well, it makes no difference now. If, if an outlaw or a wild animal doesn't get me starvation, well... <laughs> we came out here from the city in search of a different life. Something true, something real. All this 
squandering an indulgence, we wanted to strip it away to find something authentic. <laughs> what a pair of fools. Is there a train station or a town I can take you to? No, I can't give up now. He wouldn't want that. I, I can't have it. I'm going to do this for you, Cal. Well, I'll, um, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> Is there anything left for you to eat? Nothing. No, we didn't know the first thing about hunting. We couldn't even catch a darn mouse. If you need any poisonous berries, though, I'm a natural at finding those. Well, is that how her husband died? You ain't gonna he last much longer out berries, here. Berries, dude. Don't know how to hunt. Come on. I'll show you. All right. But you better not try any funny business. You know, I may be weak, but I still know how to stand up for myself. Oh, I don't doubt it. Come on. Tell me, you ever skin an animal before? No, but then again, I haven't caught much of anything either. Well, Grab a you rifle. need to know how to do both if you're gonna survive out here. I am all too aware. So where should we head for? Uh, let's try in the trees down there, near the river. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? A bear got him. It was horrifying. Yeah, a bear? He survived, but only for a couple of days. I, I buried him a week ago. Uh, I'm sorry. This was really his dream more than mine. I'd have hopped the next train back to Chicago if he'd said the word. But now, I, I don't know. It's hard to explain. I have to do this. Uh, I understand. Yes. This is a good spot. What are we looking for? Well, I think we should start with something small, don't you? I kill it, you skin it. Sound fair? Skin it? But I, I, I don't even have a knife with me. Well, don't worry, you won't need one. Now, take a look around for any movement. I, I don't see anything. Shh, just keep your eyes peeled. Okay then, go on. Time to get your hands dirty. How do I... I mean... What do I do? Just hold the legs tight and pull the skin away quickly. Should come right off. To it. You did good. I think I've seen enough blood for one day. <laughs> Do you mind if we head back now? Sure. I'll walk you back. You did good. That should keep you fed for a few days. Oh, yes. At least. Thank you so much. I mean, this really ain't such a bad spot. You got a good water source. It's remote, but you can survive here all right. I have no doubt that one can survive here. 
Whether Charlotte Balfour can is a different matter entirely. You've probably lived your whole life in the outdoors. Oh, a lot of it, that's for sure. I'd barely left the city before coming here. Cal spent his summers growing up at his grandparents' lodge in Maine, but I get the impression they did more punting than hunting. Right. Oh, Lord. No. We're done for now. Wolves, stay back! Must have smelled the dead rat. <laughs> You see, if, if you hadn't been here, I, I'd be dead now. You got a rifle? Yes. Well, my, my husband's. I suggest you learn how to use it. Now, come on, let's get you home. Since we got here, it feels like every step forward has come with a hundred steps back. People always talk about the simplicity of country life, but there's nothing simple about any of this. Yeah, well, that's for sure. I guess we only know what we know. Oh, please. I'm sure it wouldn't take you too long to adjust to a life of privilege and indolence in the big city. I don't know about that. It sounds awful. Oh, it is. A truly empty and boring existence. But an undeniably easy one. I still can't believe he's gone. This is a pretty decent spot. Wait. Sorry, I... I don't have the energy to go that fast. Yeah, I'll check the pelts when we leave, as long as it's still there. But I shot him with a handgun, so I don't know if they're gonna be perfect. You. That was the first time anyone's done anything nice for us. For me. Since we got here. Well, nature provides, but she sure don't always make it easy. That she doesn't. I'd invite you in, but I'm dead on my feet, if you'll forgive the pun. <laughs> Please do call again sometime, though. A good rest, and hopefully I'll be a new woman. You take care, man. I got us some honor right there. Nah, that's poor. I figured it would be. Shot it with the the handgun. Take the big game meat, though. Take the big game me. All right, so there's another mish down. I was actually thinking about taking the train down to Saint Denis and uh, at night doing a mission with um, the mayor. Seems like he has another mission set available for us, so I think that's going to be the plan. Yeah, that's what we'll do. It'll take a while to ride down. Legendary fish at this waterfall? Where at? It doesn't show up on the map. Yeah. I already fished the moose. 
No, yeah, there is a legendary fish. Or a legendary trout, maybe? Shit, we'll grab it. Well, we'll try. We'll try to grab it. Alright, so I think this will be classified as what? River? Special river. Ooh, that was jump. Uh, maybe was that on the first cast and my horse shits in the background you guys it's wonderful steelhead it's wow nice a monster ass steelhead trout <laughs> holy shit I'm keeping you I'm afraid That was a nice fish. And on our first cast. That's none of our business. Well, I think we can probably mail it out in, uh, yeah, we'll mail it out here in, uh, what is this, Annisburg? And then we'll take the train down to San Denis. Sound good. Now, boy, easy. in town. Roanoke Ridge. That's what this place is called. Or the area that this that, that the city's in. Roanoke Ridge.
and mail this fish out. Everybody turn, look at me when I walk in. Eh, it's a big fish, I know, guys. I mean, do they want to get shot, though? I mean, why the hell are they staring at me? Greetings. Good to see you. What would you like to send? Oh, dear. Have you come down with the flu as well, sir? Flu? No. What are you talking about? Nothing. It's just been going around, that's all. Anyway, how can I help you? Farewell on your travels. That's a nice way for him to say that we look like shit. You heard about that butcher a few towns over? Caught selling horse meat to steak him. So, yeah, it looks like it should be nighttime when we get over here. It would be awesome. No, don't pass too much time. Oh, shit, there's another uh, stranger quest here. What time is it? Oh, it's not late. I don't think it's late enough yet for the mayor. All right, let me see. Yeah, so we'll go up, take a left. This is also the road that we got robbed on. Still want that eight hundred dollars back, but that's a fine hops. Right in there. Okay. Right in there, got our ass. It's the sister lady. Hello, sister. Uh, Brother Dorgans and I were talking about you just the other day and hoping we would see you again. Well, how is Brother Dorgans? Oh, he's quite well. A little frustrated with the workings of our order. He keeps trying to be sent overseas, you know, do something with more challenge, maybe uh, be a missionary. He's a lovely man. Sure. And how are you? Uh, never better. Are you sure? I'm quite sure, sister. You know, a long time ago, I was like you. I very much doubt that. Oh, no, I did terrible things, awful things. And I could not stop doing terrible things because I did not believe that goodness existed. And then one day, I saw that love did exist. And ever since then, doing bad things became, well, not impossible, but pff, ridiculous. I guess I'm just hoping for a dignified exit. I shall pray for you. Oh, I'm not a religious man, sister. <laughs> I'm an outlaw. <laughs> oh, what fun. Religion is just a word. Hearts are rarely pure, but equally they are rarely impure either. Well, that's an interesting way of putting it. <laughs> to me, God is people and people are God, so we must all do what we can. 
These people are starving. Go find them some food. Don't worry so much about your heart. The actions will lead, and the heart follows. I'll still think of you in very nasty terms, as you wish. Money for the poor! Cada poco ayuda! Uh, you know what, sister? I've got some money on me right now. You can <laughs> buy some food with this. Oh, you're so wonderful, Mr. Morgan! No, that ain't true. I meant wonderful, but so very frightening. Exactly. Consider your good deed done for the day. I won't subject you to any more benevolence. Sister Ethel makes it fabulous. Look at that. All right, we're gonna head up and meet, link up with the mayor. So we just did our good deed for the day. Now we're gonna go undo it by working with the freaking slimy ass mayor. Exactly, new leaf proof right there. My question is, this game is so amazing, right? It just, it, it literally has everything. It, is there any other games that are like this? Like, after we beat this one, like, like is there another one that we could play? <laughs> you know what I mean? Or another game that comes close. Oh, Arthur, it's you. Come in. Where's what's his name? Jean-Marc, he's a little histrionic. I'm worried that he's going to open his mouth and say things that aren't true to those vulgar Puritans at the newspaper. Well, perhaps true, but not the whole truth. Uh. <laughs> Look at these beautiful books. This is magnificent. We'll bring this city back to life if it kills me, and it probably shall. Yes. Ah, I have two copies of this book. This is an old field guide. Might be of some interest to you, maybe not. I haven't but played Death have Stranding it. yet. It's worth quite a bit. Thank you. My pleasure. Listen, Mr. Arthur, I'm sorry to ask this of you. You've done so much, but... But what? Jean-Marc. I'm afraid he's going to open his mouth and say things. How do you mean? Uh, saying nasty things about the work that we have done together, for example. Is that my business? Oh, no. No. <laughs> of course not. He also found out some unsettling news about you. It's all scurrilous lies, of course. But... What sort of news? Oh. <laughs> I do not talk about idle gossip. Please, I'm a public servant, and we are friends. Where do I find him? Well, he does live over on uh, Rue de Zachary. Rue de Zachary. Damn. Thank you, Arthur. So now we got to go take care of the Frenchman. I am enjoying Skyrim though. Skyrim is definitely pretty dope.
Uh, yeah, but I, actually, we started playing Metal Gear 5 on the channel. Um, I gotta, I'm actually gonna get back into it eventually, because I owe it to Caspi. There we go. Why you want to go and say those awful things about me, buddy? <laughs> Best not to make a big drama of things. Come on, let's go see your boss. This is going to hurt, but it's for the best. <laughs> without being spotted. Have to cut through the park, maybe? Never cast me. Sam's YouTube. Thank you for the sub. I do appreciate it. Take care of this. No, oh, Jean Marc, Jean Marc, uh, I've missed you. I've missed you. What silly, silly man we have been. Yeah, he had a fall. He might be a little woozy. Oh, the poor boy. Jean Marc, can you hear me? Uh, where am I? Le mieux. What have you done? You had an accident, Jean-Marc. Thank the Lord, our friend was there to find you. Really? I don't remember so well. No. Here. You doing my hair in the back? My brother, my brother. Jean-Marc. Oh, we've been so... Uh, I promised to change. I know. Ah, uh, what a silly, silly misunderstanding. You see, the problem is principles will destroy us all. Sure. As long as you two are friends again. Yes. And you say you've changed, so we will run the city like men of honor, like you said. Uh, of course, of course. We, we will strive to improve the city's moral backbone by any means available to us. Within reason, yes. Yes, yes. Within my reason. Because I am the mayor, Jean-Marc. And I will save you from yourself. Because it's better to get something done than nothing at all, like you said. Utterly, utterly corrupted, Lemieux. You've not changed at all. I've been supplanted in your esteem by a wanted murderer. You, you shame me. <laughs> no, sir. You shame me with your vain naivete. Oh, how I long for the luxury to have principles such as you. 
But I must actually do things. I see now. You're, you're lost to reason. Yeah. And I see now that you're a horrible little wretch and a sinner yourself. Your sin is deluded vanity. Now, sir, I am afraid that you must kill him. I will pay you handsomely. And Jean-Marc, I will miss you. I really shall. Kill him. It must be so. Please. You're not really going to kill me, are you? Mm -hmm. Thought I might. But uh, all I did was love too much. Love. My duty. Yeah, but you're running your I'll mouth you out of it. me, buddy. And him. He'll betray you just like he's betrayed me. Lemieux is a foul rat, but I'm a man of my word. Just let me live and I'll, I'll... I'll destroy him. And I'll make sure you're left well alone. Come on. Please. Please, come on. You want to shoot a sad little man, would you? I might be a brute, but I'm not a paid killer. Get out of here. Don't mention me, boy. Adieu, monsieur. Hey guys, I told you I turned over a new leaf. I'm a new man. You guys really thought I was going to shoot him? Seriously? Son of a bitch, man. You see what happens when I'm fucking nice, dude? You see what happens? So was it the mayor that called the cops on me? Or was it him? Daquana, thank you so much for the sub. No, I didn't have a mask on. I freaking just... I know, I should have just got let him arrest me.
Found a legendary fish. Where? Yo, there's a legendary fish right uh right near our camp. We should be able to get some. Oh, hello, Arthur. Miss Grimshaw. Camp is terrible. Hello, Mr. Morgan. It's good to see you again, despite the circumstances. You too. But what do we do now? We need to move. As soon as possible. We've got a couple of days. Guys, almost 500 likes on the stream. I really do appreciate it. Alright, so we're going to eat. See what Dutch got has for us. Sirius, thank you for the sub. How you doing today? All right. Check. Check the map. Oh, I got a huge-ass freaking bounty in San Denis. That's awesome. Why? You okay there? D4. Working it all out. Once and for all, Arthur. Mm. What now? We're back, and I'm sitting here, and I am contemplating the great journey of the sun and considering a famous chess move. Those oily enactors of a mediocre justice, the Pinkertons, and their benefactor, the depressing millionaire, Leviticus Cornwall, they want us, Arthur. They want us. And they are going to have us. Well, maybe oh, fuck, they ain't losing the his goddamn Man. mind. I don't know. It's just well, I can't help but feel we would have been better running off someplace else. <laughs> but the, the game ain't over, Arthur. I mean, I ain't I ain't played my my final move. But I guess I'm more interested in saving lives than winning a chess. And maybe life ain't such a thing to cling on to so tightly. No doubt. What about the women? You sound like Hosea. I miss him. I asked you a question. What do you think? We can't stay here. That much is obvious. Where are we gonna run to? I mean, they chased us from the west. They chased us over the mountains. They ran us into the sea. Arthur, do you have my back? Always, Dutch. But there's more than your back to worry about. We need more money. We've been on the run for months now, and I've seen you killing folk in cold blood like you always told me not to. And I'm sorry, but I can't help but think that if we just... There is country in Roanoke Ridge past Butcher Creek. I believe we could hold. Okay. You and Charles, you can take folks up that way. Micah and I need to do some reconnaissance. I ain't got a final plan yet. Arthur, I ain't got it. I just need time. I need time and no traitors. That's just declining, guys. Okay. Not good. Charles, be right Charles got a haircut. Always. Where are we headed? Up past Butcher Creek. 
It's my favorite brute country. That's why I'm asking you to ride with me. So yeah, let me let me let me grab some better guns. I understand. What are we doing there? We're looking for a place to hold up. Even the law won't follow us up there too willingly. Yeah. I did some scouting up there while your boys were away. And? Hmm. We'll see. I know the way. Follow me. What? We need to get this done fast. The Pinkertons will have reinforced in another day or two. Oh yeah, we need to yeah. get a real camp. The sooner we get out of here, the better. It's quite a ride up there. Said I'm flying through some story today, Casper. River, which would take us right up to Butcher Creek. <laughs> you just do like one Might mission. What do you think? I say we just ride it. It ain't worth messing around with boats. Okay. Sure. It's good to see you again, Charles. You too. Thanks for what you did in San Denis. Real brave drawing them off us like that. Holy shit, good to I was be... worried you and Abigail had both got yourselves killed. I found a spot to lie low for a while, then managed to get a ride with a wagon of workers heading out to the fields. Abigail said she somehow managed to slip away when they grabbed Hosea. You did good getting the others out of there. Keeping everyone together. Everybody was pretty shaken up when I got back to Shady Bell. Uh, it was a tough few days. I couldn't have done it without Sadie. So how did you find that spot back there? I assume the skulls on sticks weren't an addition to yours. Huh. Old Strauss knew about it. The locals are terrified of the place, so we figured that might buy us some time. And it did. Until one of you brought the law with you. And where did you end up again? Cuba? Oh, uh, not exactly. An island off of there, called Warma. Landed ourselves in a heap of trouble. Really? A tropical island? Isn't that just what Dutch wanted? Uh... I guess it didn't exactly live up to his ideals. Anyway... I ain't always sure our Dutch knows what he wants anymore. Perhaps not, but he's always managed to figure things out in the past. I know. Hey, you're right. So just... It's been... Uh... Guess I just miss Hosea and his uh, wisdom, you know? Daryl, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. It's not much further now. So, I spent some time up this way while you were gone. I ran into Rainsfall and Eagle Flies, the Indians. And I've been trying to help out a bit where I can at the reservation. Things are bad there. Uh, that's not a surprise. They seem to be in a lot of trouble, heading into more. Some men there spoke a lot about the Murphy gang that hides out in these caves. A place called Beaver Hollow. They're animals. Yeah, I got hit Everyone on the road by them. Everyone is them. Just recently, a stagecoach from Manisburg disappeared without a trace coming through here. Great. Dutch didn't mention this. Well, hiding up here... It's not a crazy idea. You see that up ahead? Slow down, keep it quiet. It could be some of them. I say we dismount here and follow them on foot. See where they're going. 
Follow me. Stay quiet. Grab our shoddy. Mohammed, how you doing? Let's get closer to him. Come on, up this way. I say we deal with them from here. You take one, I'll take the other. Well, how I do the skinning? Then who do the carrying? Here is quick, Arthur. You know that. What in hell? I'll kill you. That was close. Come on. Uh, we must be close now. Let's stop and have a look from the top of this hill there. Stagecoach went missing. Jesus. They must be in the cave. All right. Let's get on with this. Okay. What you think? We can head into the cave or flush them out with dynamite. Um. Shit. We're going to the cave. I surprise them in there. Okay. Let's get a little closer. Ready? Let's get this over with. Are these, uh, are these the night folk? In the entrance to the cave. You see him? Did he just eat that dude? I wanted to pick up. There it is. Got a fucking Jason Voorhees on, dude.
Someone's down there. She's... Oh, y'all just walked into your worst nightmare. Look at me down there, Charles. You were wrong about these crazy sons of bitches! Plus folks watching, dude. No pressure. Charles, Open mouth smile keep away. rocking. Not for now. Come on. Let's Yo, get that poor girl out of the Brian, cage. thank you so much for the super chat, brother. I really appreciate it, man. I think we're clear. Please don't kill me. It's okay, miss. Just calm Yo, whatever down. happened to Molly? Yo, I don't think I've seen Molly since we got back. We ain't gonna hurt you. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Shh. You're safe. Where are you from? Andersburg. What do we do with her? Take her there and I'll go get the others. Sure. Miss, you okay to ride on my horse a little? I'll keep you safe. Andersburg, right? Yes. They, 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 um. It's okay, miss. The others, they, they killed them. Can't even You're imagine what this now. lady went through. Just try to breathe. They're animals. I know. <laughs> it's all right, miss. Why would they? Some folks is just evil. Ain't no point trying to explain it. I haven't slept in days. I know. What's your name, miss? It's okay. Meredith. You're gonna be home soon, Meredith. And this will all be over. Thank you. Where in Annisburg? One of the mining cottages. Um, <laughs> if you get me to the main street, I can show you from there. Okay. Just try to relax now.
Just head for the main street. It'll be easier to walk from there. Terrible things to her Which eyeballs. Place is yours? Up at the top of the hill. <laughs> it's near the blacksmith. Mona. Ma! Ma! Meredith! She's alive! Oh, she's alive! You saw some pretty bad things, I'm afraid, ma'am. Murphy Brute guys. Oh, my darling. How did you manage well, to? I just ran into them and found her. Oh, thank you. Here, let me give you this. Oh, that, that's okay, ma'am. You just keep her warm and keep her safe. <sighs> this is down. Oh, no. You leave me alone. You just leave me alone. Thanks, buddy. Mrs. Downs looks rough. Like, real rough. Ah. Brian, How I did not home? know that, brother. Okay. Found a girl. <laughs> Took her home. Oh. You and Micah find anything? Maybe. I think maybe. I found our old friend, Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah, he's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Mike and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. So, Dutch, did you miss me? I found her. There she Drunk is. Drunk as sand You're back. How jolly, Miss it's O'Shea. It's funny, you suck of shit. Back Who and you? drunk. The master, the Lord Molly. God, all my... Calm down. I won't be ignored. Dutch Vanderlyn, I am in him. I ain't her. Are any of your stooges? Calm yourself, you don't owe me nothing. Miss. I don't owe you nothing. Nothing. Okay. I'll spit in your eye. I did. I told them. I'm sorry? Yeah, I told them and I tell them again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who what? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery. And I wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard! Go on, She's shoot me! Crazy. She ain't worth it. You told on me! Oh, you're you not betrayed so big now, me! What? You? Right. Calm down. Arthur? Ah. She's a fool. Get her out of here. Ah. You know the rules. You're not so big now. Are we, Your Majesty? You. Take her! <laughs> She knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you? Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you. Quit your lollygagging. She's the get reason why Hosea and Lenny. Miss Crenshaw, a nasty woman. You think I wanted to shoot her? You seem to like it. I saw that 
graffiti look in your eyes. You're drunk again. And you're a fucking murderer. She broke the rules. She did no such thing. She was in love. Morning, Arthur. You sour-faced old crone. Goddamn you. Murderer. Murderer! I did what I had to do, Mr. Morgan. Perhaps. Yeah. That's crazy. Like... Who the fuck is... Micah just sitting there kicked up like he owns the fucking place. Hey! Up. Listen to me. All of you. Listen. We're here. And we are safe now. And that is the main thing. Listen to me. You have got to keep faith. Now, I know. I know. I miss Jose. I surely do. I miss every man and every woman who fell. I do. And I would die in their place gladly if I could. I don't believe you, Dutch. I feel like he cares this about himself more than he does everybody else. Is unkind. But it won't break me. Not while I have you by my side. We. We get some money and we can still. They won't catch me. They won't catch me. And I promise, whosoever stands by my side, they won't catch you neither. They won't. Hey, partner. Your fucking feet down. What do you think this is? Like, does Mike not work no more? Huh, partner? You know you think you're so clever, don't you? I ain't the problem here, Morgan. Micah just does whatever the fuck he wants, I guess. We got a couple side quests. Hey, why don't you sit a while? And morning, Mr. Morgan. I haven't seen Dutch like this. You okay? I guess. I didn't really know Molly so well. Thanks for your help. Well... Secure in this lovely spot. Well, don't give up on everything just yet. Mm-hmm. I mean, it doesn't seem very promising. In my opinion, guys, it seems like the like, you know, we're just spiraling and spiraling. I I, I don't see how, you know, we could come back from this.
Yeah, one more big job. I heard that at the fucking bank. Mr. Morgan. <laughs> Herr Strauss. Yes. How are you? About... <laughs> about how I look. Okay. <sighs> are you, um... Are you perhaps available for some work? Debtors? Yes. I guess. Your commitment to your duties is admirable. <coughs> you know, Mr. Morgan, you are... Well, I'm sorry for you. Hmm? No, never mind. I didn't... Look, Strauss. You take care. I ain't dead yet. No, of course not. That's what I was saying. I... Uh, I... A debtor, Strauss. Who owes you money? Well, uh, there's a deserter from Fort Wallace. Head to him first. They're looking for him out on the road near Three Sisters. Man's name is J. John Weathers. J. John Weathers. Then there's a miner over in Annisburg. He's called... Well, he's called Arthur. <laughs> like you. Oh. <laughs> Arthur Londonderry. Family man, desperate. You know the type. Couldn't one of the boys do this? I tried. They lacked your... vigor. Vigor, huh? All right. Uh, take care, uh, uh, Mr. Morgan. Well, Strauss is the reason why we're in this situation. Like, I'm sick. <laughs> it's the vapors, yo. It must be, dude. Annisburg and I'm going the wrong way. I felt like I was going the wrong way. Easy. Yep. Got people hanging up. I wonder if, uh... Trying to jump my ass. Murphy Brood Prisoner note. Lord, forgive me for what I've done. I could not take another day of the torture at the hand of these grubby men. They say that hell awaits those who resort to self-murder. Can that be any worse than uh, the go cave? We'll see soon. What is that?
Manpower. Thank you so much for the super chat. Assassin's Creed, yeah, it was close, man. Is that a bird? That doesn't sound like no fucking bird, dude. Where's it coming from? It sounds like it's all around me. Can stop now. Come on now, boy. <laughs> Fuck, man. Yeah. That was no bird. That was not a bird. Help the blind. Okay there. Earn your fortune. Maybe earn your fortune. Maybe today is the beginning of the end. Help a blind man. Take this. Be warned, sir. Do not slumber too deeply. For the man with no nose is coming for you. Okay. I ain't too sure what to make of that. A man with no nose? I have nothing more for you now. Go use what you know. Don't end up like me. Apparently the whistling is an unsolved Easter egg? Oh shit. Voldemort. <laughs> Man with no nose. finds an acorn every once in a while. <laughs> hey, where was I? You want company, boys? Sure, because I want to be pissing needles tomorrow. <laughs> it's Mrs. Downs again. Yo. 
Did I get in your way? This is down. <gasps> go away. Just go away. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but I... Well... Well, you're sorry. Yeah, I heard you. But... I mean... Well, I... I this country... Is man unleashed? That's the thing, and it ain't my fault any more than it is man anyone else. Man unleashed? Then unleash goodness, not just hell's feeble brothers, sir. But how? I mean, all I know how to do is fight. I guess I was set free to fight. Where's your son, Mrs. Down? Oh, where you think? Down the mine until he gets sick, which won't be long, given how hard they work him. See. Foreman don't like him, so he gets the worst of it. Maybe I could go and... Maybe you could just leave us all alone. Maybe. Maybe you could just go fight some other battle. Making progress. At least she talked to us that time. Messed up, man. I'm, you know, we we put our family in this in this position. The least we can do is try to do good for them. You know what I mean? Get the foreman off his back. Oh, your mom's a horn. That's a goddamn fact. Why don't you shut up? Oh, hey. all right. Oh. <laughs> Who's this, your daddy? My daddy died. And this man, he killed him. What are you doing here? Leave the boy alone. Why'd you kill his daddy? You after his mama? <laughs> Stop bullying the boy. Get out of my business, mister. Leave the boy alone. Or what? Or I'll kill you too. You couldn't kill no one. Look at you, all ragged and sick and weak. Clear off, you goddamn hermit. Clear off! You and the horse son here. You can't even fight your own. Get off me! You're finished! What's up now, bitch? Who's next? Let the boy go. Let him go! Come on, me. Shame on you. He's just a goddamn boy! Let's get you out of here. They're gonna kill me. Now I got no job, and they're gonna kill me. I've got some money. You and your mama can go someplace nice. Well, why are you doing this? I don't know. Listen, take this. All of it. Try and talk to your mama and get out of here. Now run. I'll try. Good boy. I don't want to see you here again. Assholes, man. Should go in his mind and fucking. I wonder what's in this mind. Fucker, even on? Not a very powerful lamp, I guess.
What if there's anything even in this mine? This place is huge, man. Why would they make it so big? Howdy, partners. Hey, that's close enough. This is private. Well, I was all up in there, so. Idiot. Couldn't be too. It couldn't be all that private. Nothing is there, really. It was a big area, though. It really was. What is this? Oh, that's our first bounty. Now, is that the one at the fort that we had to do first? I think that is. It's a PvP map for Team Deathmatch Online? Really? You sick in the head or something? That's enough for one day. Yep. Um, so I, so I I believe there's only the one part of the game that you have to do for Harris Strauss that's like main story debt collection. And after that, I think all the rest are optional. partner <laughs> I am well hands up <laughs> you trying to rob a sick man I was trying to help <laughs> bullshit you was I hope you move fancy boots unlike you eyes on Hectic Mike, thank you for the sub. They, they really tried, guys. They really tried. Can't trust nobody. It's like you, you want to do, you try to do the right thing, and I feel like I always get fucked over when I'm trying to do the right thing. You know what I mean? It's like I try to not be a savage, but it's so hard in this world yeah. when everybody is literally trying to just What's my top three open world games right now? I'd probably have to say this is easily number one. Um, Skyrim is probably number two or three. And uh, I really enjoyed The Witcher also, The Witcher 3. I haven't played Odyssey yet, no. 
We're, work we're working our way through all the Assassin's Creed games right now. We just beat Assassin's Creed 3 the other day on the channel, guys. Um, and now, and the DLC, and now we're going to be starting uh, Liberations and then uh, Black Flag. That's where we're at right now in our Assassin's Creed. We got the little mini game because it's not very long, uh, Liberations. So we got Liberations to play, which is, I think, we'll probably be able to do in like two streams. And, and then, uh, Oh, we got another quest over here. Let's go check out what this is real quick. I like I like to check out the stranger quest. But uh yeah, Liberation seems like it's gonna be a fairly short game. Um I think from what I see, it's only like eight, twelve hours or something like that. And then um Hold on, John. You could wait. Yeah. Then we'll be doing Black Flag. <sighs> Good God. We got a lot of good stranger quests popping up all over the place. Oh, easy. Hey, you there? Can you help? Are you in the tree, partner? Where are you at? Sir! Some help! Oh, hiding behind the rock. Dude, I thought you were in the tree. Can you help me, mister? What's the problem? I gotta suck on your leg. The goddamn guy. horse got spooked and run off. Are you hurt? Not too bad, at least. But he took my damn leg. <laughs> Sorry. He went that way, I think. A man Name's lost Buell. his fucking amp uh, his, uh, Same prosthetic. Time a prick named Buell cost me a leg. Huh? Buell was my general when I lost it. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, if you see an angry bastard of a horse with my wooden leg, I'd be real grateful. I'll bear that in mind. Time to go, boy. I think that's a horse down there near the water. <laughs> With this guy, you want to leave his last mission after the fishing mission for the epilogue, just a tip. See its eyes? Now come on, Dan. Let's get you back. Yeah, it has his leg on it. Yeah, he's just where you left him. Can't go far with that leg in your stirrup. Can't go bucking him like that. So you better be good, you hear? I get the notion he's not a man you want to cross. No matter how big and strong you are.
Silver leaf. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying it here, brother. And guys, I really want to thank everybody in chat, everybody who's watching the video. Thank you so much for almost 600 likes on the stream. That is absolutely massive. You really don't understand how much that really means. We ain't far now. Nothing gonna spook you here. Come on. You're not so nasty. I found him. You're a good man, mister. Mr. Arthur. You're right. He's a brute. <sighs> Hamish Sinclair. Yeah, he's a great horse, aside from when the devil got him. Hey, you want to hand me that leg there, please? And while you're at it, give old Buell a kick for me, would you? No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Were him but a snake that spooked him. Yeah, man, I know the feeling, dude. A real gentleman, you know? Sometimes, maybe. Yeah, how'd you lose a leg? Oh, in the war. Cannonball. Pretty clean, though. I don't have much pain, and I didn't get any gangrene. A young boy went into battle with me, got cut in half, so all things considered, I'm doing pretty well, I guess. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, how is the false one? It's okay. I can still hunt, fish, enjoy the outside. I weren't sent too crazy by it. Anyway, I ain't got much to pay you with. You know, that's okay. You like fishing? You can come with me someday. I know some pretty good spots. Uh, I'm a pretty poor fisherman. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm great. So between the two of us, we do okay. My cabin is right over on the other side of O'Cray's run there. Thanks again. You throw me again, you old dumb bastard. I'm going to put a bullet in you. Oh, Jesus. I'll see you again. I do like that. He's got a good personality, like that guy right there. Somebody you he, he he seems like somebody you could just like sit down with, have a couple drinks, and just shoot the shit and tell stories. You know what I mean? I don't know. He just comes across as like that type of person that you just really want to sit there and just talk talk to. Yep. There's a camp arrow. Carriage here. Oh. Rocks, not bodies. Is he hiding under the wagon or trying to fix it? Give me the money. Give me your money. J. John Weathers. They call me Snow Goose now. Whatever they call you. You borrowed money off of Leopold Strauss. The bills come due. This ain't the best time, sir. This ain't the best time for anyone. Mr. Strauss knew it was a long-term proposition. The debt is due. OK. I got supplies meant to last through the winter. You can take them just. Is there any way you can help me? I stay out here, there won't be anyone to pay you. I ain't here to help. I'm here to collect. We're all, all of us up against it. Look, there's men after me. <laughs> They're killers. I ain't a deserter, just an objector. It ain't right. If there was another way than running, I need your help. Shut up. Please. I... Up here, it's him. It's too late. Form up, we shoot on sight. I clear off, sir. Ah, shit. Well, seeing as I'm here, I'm, I'll do what I can for you.
Is this because he deserted? It's a lot of guys coming right now. Actually getting pretty low on ammo. Oh, uh, we got the white away a white Arabian. Well, there's all the supplies he was gonna pay us with. It's all right, my darling. You can come out. Probably should have helped you fix the damn wagon. We could probably still save something. Really now? Look, you can take the silver locket for the debt. Damn the debt. Just get her somewhere safe. Go on. Thank you, fella. You know, there ain't enough kindness in this world, that's for sure. But you. I don't know nothing about cannabis. What is a special item? Oh, oh see? Okay. What the fuck, man? I can't win! I try to do nice, and then it's like, oh, dude, wait, you should have took that. That was actually a special weapon, or a special item, or this, or that. And then it's like, I take it, and everybody's like, oh, you're such a savage. Bro. And it's just like, oh, my God. It, it, like, when am I doing it? When am I doing the right thing? It's impossible, okay? <laughs> it's impossible. You don't shoot the guy, he one-shots you. You shoot the guy, you're a savage. And he had three little kids back at home waiting for him to bring home breakfast. You know what I mean? It's just like, there's no winning. You, 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 you take the money, you know, you just turn their mother into a freaking prostitute. And the kid's working in the mine. You don't take the money, it's just, oh man. I hate this. I hate this new leaf thing, guys. I turned over a new leaf. I'm trying to be a better man. I'm trying to not just freaking roll around murdering the innocents. You know what I mean? You know what I? You know what I mean, partner? You don't look tough. Careful! Almost hurt my feelings there. Oh uh, yeah. Uh -huh. You look dumb. That's what I thought, partner. See a man die to a gut shot It ain't pretty. What did you He drew a gun on me, guys. He pulled his gun on me. I was just riding. He threatened me with a gut shot. <laughs> like, how do you threaten a man with the gut shot? That's savage. I'm gonna ride. How am I gonna ride away? No, 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 no. See, see, there's no being the bigger man and walking away in this situation. Not when somebody threatens your life. Like, oh, uh, you know, it's not like he sat there and said, oh, you know, your mom this or like a yo mama joke or, you know, he threatened my gut with a shot.
Socorro! Help me, por favor! Ay, mierda! Yo, look how high my fucking honor is, guys. That shit is almost maxed out. Right, pay up, partner. Pay up. Pay up. Yeah, well, you got really lucky. Typical. Hey. Good luck with it. Hey! Hey, hey, no, 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 partner. You owe me. No, oh, let him go. You, <laughs> you think I'm gonna fucking let him go after that? You really think I'm gonna let him go after that? It's not fucking happening, dude. Do you think... Dylan, hey, thank you so much for the super chat. I tune into the tree, uh, turn off recommended tab after watching the video. Definitely will be back in the future. Hey, I really do appreciate the super chat and I appreciate the support and you being here. Fucked up, buddy. Brother, I'm sorry. Blame it on your fucking horse, dude. Out. Yeah, now let me get my reward yeah. that I was rightfully Please owed. Now. Damn, what happened to his fucking head, though? <laughs> Jesus Christ, what happened to his head? What happened to his head? You, you happened to his head. I didn't mean for that to happen to his to his head. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, move it. Hey, what is this? Oh my God! What the fuck is up with everybody what today? Damn fool! Hey. Moron! I'm gonna send your brains in it. You, you guys. Goddamn. Well, so much for that high yeah. honor, right? <laughs> I don't understand what's happening right now, guys. I'm just trying to fucking play the game. And guys are literally pulling guns on me left and right. Yo, it is dark as shit right now. I didn't even do anything. I just walked by that guy and he just pulled the shotgun out and said something about bl splashing my fucking whatever all over the place. And I'm like, dude. Yeah. 
it is mega dark out. The horse didn't deserve to die. That horse literally field gold me. From the fucking 30 yard line. Oh, this guy works in the mine. Maxi with the super chat. Thank you so much. I'm enjoying uh, so much these streams, man. Thank you. I'm really glad you're enjoying them. And I, I'm happy you're here. Next comes the hammer. The hammer, guys. You hear What's this? your problem here? Yo, do I have something on my face? Do I have a sign wrong with you? attached to me? All right, there. You got any business at the mine? Yes, partner. I'm looking for an Arthur Londonderry. I was told he works here. Londonderry? Oh, you want to speak to the foreman. He's down in the pit. Mm, okay, so the foreman is uh, the guy we beat up last time for the... I think that was the foreman, right, that we beat up? Might make this a little more difficult. We'll see. Arthur London there. She here? I'm sorry, feller, but you're too late. Arthur's dead. <laughs> the man's dead. What's wrong with you? Oh boy, you can't exactly beat it out of him now, can you? <laughs> you might get something off his widow just across from Butcher's Creek, but I'd hurry. You ain't gonna be the only one a knocking. <laughs> You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Hey, I ain't the godforsaken money lender. Damn. You got somewhere to be. Hey, boy. We're trying to go collect this money. 
I, I, man, I mean, I don't think that's right that the wife would have to assume the debt after he died and the, like, that doesn't, doesn't seem right. Yep. Oh, my cores are still looking good. Yeah, we're going to be doing Mrs. Down's mission here um, after we're done collecting this debt. I ain't falling for it, dude. Okay, maybe I'll fall for it. I can't feel my leg anymore. You have to get the strap off of me, please. You all right? Oh, looks like you can use a hand. Oh, please. Please help me. I'm, I'm losing blood. Oh, please save me. Keep pulling. I can feel it getting looser. Oh, God. Oh, oh, you did it. Oh. Oh, I, uh, I gotta get some scrap or, or something here. Oh, oh, mister, you, I thought I was gonna be, oh, go! Oh, oh, I thought I was gonna be a goner. We're cold. Oh. You, you can take whatever you want from my pack for saving me. Got any oh. bullets? We'll take this pistol ammo. What? Yeah, we're cold. I think I might have... I don't even have any, uh... Cold weather outfits yeah. on me. Yeah, I'd have to swing by camp, but... Oh, we also got another mission here in the in Butcher's Creek. Yeah, I'm gonna I, I, I'm gonna buy ammo in the morning when we head back. I was gonna head into um, I was gonna head back into town, but before we work with Miss Down, I was gonna buy some new more ammo. This is London Derry. <coughs> Off his dead. I know. I'm sorry for it. It's just we lent Arthur some money, you see, and so it was you. You son of a bitch. What do you want now? You want my boy's shoes? You want the food out of our bellies? What little there is? Won't be a lot down for you. No, no. I... Arthur gave everything to pay your bills. Everything. And now there's some fellas coming to take the house. There ain't nothing left, mister. Uh, I just wanted to say... The debt's canceled, and to you know, take this. It won't bring your husband back, I know. You need money, and I don't. Well, you're a good man. I just wish you'd done it before Arthur's you worked redemption arc, baby. Brain. It's our redemption arc, baby. But you know, maybe you and your friend that lent him the money could do things different, like not threaten a man. Me. I'm sorry, ma'am. I really am.
Let's go, boy. So we're gonna head into town. Ooh, or should I come over here and do this one? Well, you know what? We'll come over here and do this one real quick. I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see. The only thing is I, I want bullets. You know what? Yeah, we'll go into town first. I'm scared messing around with this Butcher Creek si situation. I'm gonna end up having to light some people up. So um We're gonna head into town real quick. We're gonna hit the gun store and uh get some more bullets. Yeah, but that only gives you like a little bit of money um, buying it through the camp. Or it only gives you a little bit of ammo. It doesn't, I, I, cause I was doing that, but it was like barely, I just get maybe 30, 40 pistol rounds. I'm, I'm about to go to the gun store and just straight top my shit off completely. Cause they only give you like a couple boxes of each at, at camp. Yeah, I've restocked it a couple. I mean, you have to keep restocking it over and over and over again. The gun store is just a way more efficient way to get bullets, in my opinion. See what the, this I might must actually be have. your first time here, yes. I hear there was a big shootout with the Murphy gang in the caves at Beaver Hollow. What me, partner? Yo, there's lodging here in the gun store? What? Okay. Let me see what's available. All right, let me see. Ammunition. We got a lot of money, so we're just going to top all our... Here you go. Very nice. See, and this way we're able to just complete and max everything. Ah. Damn, we can hold a lot of freaking repeater ammo. Holy crap. How many gun oils can I hold? I get plenty of people coming in just for that. Why can I hold so many gun oils? I could only hold like six before. What? I'm looking forward to testing this. Oh, 99 because of the satchel? I was like, dude, I could only hold like freaking six before. All right, so let's go ahead and browse catalog and see if there's any new Let guns. Let me know what you'd like. Revolvers. I think I have all the guns I can get. All the revolvers I can get, at least. Evans is new, but newer. Still can't get this fucking Litchfield revolver or repeater. There's that one sniper. Yeah, this one's still locked too. The Carcano sniper. Holding out, man. A gun is practically a necessity in this town. Look around. Ask uh, anyone. Yeah, yeah, my freaking upgraded satchel. I didn't think it would be that crazy, though. Please, keep looking if there's something else you need. Bye now. All right, let me see. Holy shit. Let's clean these. My babies are getting dirty. All 
My babies are dirty. I have the no. I have the legends of East Satchel. Yeah, that's, we we got it. All right. So I thought we told Mrs. Downs to leave, her and her son. So why is there still a mission here for? Her? Where's his son? Mr. Morgan. You still here, kid? Yes. Mama. Mama can't leave. Or won't leave. I, I don't know. I said I had the money. It, she said your money weren't moral. She said it'd be better to die than to take it. <laughs> Maybe she's right. I don't know. I don't know anything about morals. She's still heading out. Working, you know? I'm sorry, son. Sorry about all of this. She ain't been back for a few hours. She left with some fellow down the railway tracks. I did not like the look of him. Which way, you say? Uh, that way. Around the woods, towards uh, Willard's Rest. I'll see what I can do. Hey, 34 game, video games. Thank you so much for the sub. I do appreciate it. Ah. Oh, oh, shit, man. I hope nothing happened to this poor kid's mom. We put this, we put this family through enough already. Damn, she rode real far off to freaking bang out this dude. Trail. Oh, here we go. See a horse up here. man, dearie? A kind man? Sure. I ain't always nice. Sometimes I can be real nice. That's enough now, partner. Oh, no. You're starting to scare me, let alone the poor woman. Clear off. Who are you? Someone who don't want to hear no more of your nasty mouth. Push me. I'll put a bullet in you. I, I presume Archie sent you? I said clear off before I deal with you. See you again, dearie. <sighs> listen, listen to me. <coughs> Excuse me. You sound like my husband. I know. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what happened. I was, uh, a fool. And I'm suffering from my foolishness. But 
Don't go and get yourself killed because of your pride. You have a son, Mrs. Downs. I'm just so ashamed. Ashamed? <laughs> of what? <laughs> you loved him. <laughs> you did everything for him. <laughs> Let's get you home. Let's go. Yeah. I'm sorry it had to come to this. Stop saying sorry. Sorry won't bring Thomas back. I know. <laughs> I mean, he had TB. So you're sick now, too? And you think that affords you the opportunity for penance for cutting his time short? No. I ain't looking for that. Okay, then. So just forget about me and the guilt you're carrying, because no good can come of that for either of us. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. Help someone who can still be helped. Well, help yourself. I suppose you're right. Oh, hang yourself for all I care. You're right to dislike me. I ain't looking for that to change. Archie should be waiting for us just up ahead. someplace else start over here take this I don't need it no more I don't want your money yeah I know you don't want it I don't you sure as shit need it take it no I ain't looking for forgiveness it ain't about that hey, don't forgive me just take the money and get out of here please I know I ruined your life I suffer for it every day but don't let yourself get killed for, for pride I seen it kill too many folk don't say anything. Don't thank me. Just take the money and pack your bags. That's all I gotta say. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. I said don't thank me. Get out of here. Please. Yeah, we gave him $90. Come on, pal. That's a decent scratch right there. All right, we got we still got a little bit of money. Um So was that Butcher Creek mission? I think that might be only at night. So you know what? Let's go tell Strauss he can fucking kick rocks. We'll sleep until night and then I think we'll head back down to Butcher Creek. This guy's your mysterious savior? Come here! Before you collapse on us. Oh, it's the Howdy. trap guy. I was guy. just telling my friend here about how I nearly died out there one night. Ooh, sounds like quite a tale. Here's an idea. Gunsmith's a friend. Pick out what you want and I'll pick up the tab. Hmm? It's Jenkins. Ooh, yes indeed. Anything for you, buddy. Anything. You are nothing if not generous. That's okay. kind of thanks. Let me go buy a gun. I think I, I got the uh, Evans re the repeater that I can still. Oh shit! Hey friend, what do you need? Man in town named Jenkins owes me. Said I could put something on his tab. Jenkins, huh? All right, take a look around. 
Yeah, so I don't own one of these yet. Yeah, grab this. So noted. You have a good day now. Ah, this, this small little freaking repeater here, ain't it? I don't plan on using it, so this is a free gun. <laughs> that little, that little tiny little thing. How much ammo does that hold? Twenty-six shots. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Yo, I actually kind of like this repeater. 26 shots. Yeah, that's actually amazing. I didn't think much of it initially. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's probably just a crappy little repeater. But no, that, I think that's the highest capacity repeater in the game. The Lamat Revolver? I, Mr. Bag? No, I didn't even know that, man. I might go check that out. What? Can I get it from a... I can buy it from a gun store? I wonder what the rate of fire on it was. Got a pretty decent fire rate, too. And it hits. Hey, yeah, maybe we should have dressed it up a little bit. Oh, yeah, fuck. I forgot I got that huge-ass bounty in San Denis, don't I? There's that other horse that we uh rest now, boy. We got when we first came back. <laughs> Mr. Morgan, you don't look very well. Uh, I'm not, Reverend. <clears throat> I fear I'm pretty sick. I'm so sorry. You seem well on the other hand. Yes, sir. I've stopped all that silly business. I think I'm okay. Well, that's wonderful news. <laughs> How? I don't know. I met a Catholic lady, a nun, and we prayed, and it was lifted. The curse was lifted. Good. I can't believe it. Really, I can't. All those years I wasted.
The rev got all cleaned up. Fucking Strauss, man. Hey. Ah, how did you get on, Mr. Morgan? Just Danny. Hmm. Just get up. What? Get up. What? What is wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing at all. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Get your bag. Is this it? I don't understand. I ain't gonna kill you, though I probably should. You disgust me. And you shame us. If we could be shamed any more than we already are, that should do. Go! I don't understand you. What are you doing? Go and get a job! You know, they, they say the sick delude themselves. I was your friend. You and me, we ain't decent. But those folk, they was. Now here, take that. Take that and get lost. I'm leaving. Well, there's that. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna sleep, and then we'll head out to uh, we'll head out to the the uh, butcher crick, <laughs> butcher crick. All right, uh, um, yeah, we'll go night. Damn, I can't believe we just kicked out Strauss. I didn't know Arthur had the authority like that. Yeah, my honor is literally, like, maxed out, guys. <laughs> Fucking maxed out. All right, let me see. So is that mission back up down here? Yep, there it is. Axeman, how you doing? Hey, you guys say I'm a savage. Not with this honor level. Yep. I'm only, I'm only savage to those who deserve it, guys. You know what I mean? I'm never... I mean, when have you guys ever just seen me just kill somebody, like, outright, just for no reason? You know what I mean? Generally, I... I, I, I for, you know... We just hand out justice, guys. Hey, justice. Easy. I've killed some witnesses, but that, you know what I mean? It wasn't for no reason. They were going to tell on me. <laughs> yeah. See what this place is all about. At least we got one friend here. Everybody else is freaking assholes, man. Oh, 
gone, sir. Be gone. Not, not, not because we cares not. No, no, but because we cares. What are you talking the about? Demons have us by the throat, sir. It's the darkness. The darkness, it's, it's everywhere. The, he was right. What are you talking about? They come in hey, darkness. They're coming. Stay inside. Keep your door shut. Fuck is that noise, dude? Right, I want to grab my Evans. We'll grab the Evans. Fuck is that? Nothing dumb. Ma'am, safe now. See if there's any more of them. Oh, thank you, brother. Oh. Shit, there's more, all right. Was it those mangy ass dogs? What the fuck was that thing? It was the mangy dogs. The ones that looked like fucking. Don't start with the dog killing, guys. I'm, I had to put these ones down. It's not like I'm taking any extra joy in in killing these dogs. You know what I mean? I'm just I'm just doing what I gotta do. And there it is. I knew before I even mad it was coming. <laughs> it's not demons. It's just dogs gone crazy. Ain't nice. Get yourselves home. No, no, no. He said, he said they would come in many forms. <laughs> and, he, and he said his protection would come in many, many forms. forms. What are you talking about? It's just sick dogs. Uh, hydrophobia or some other poison. He said we were not to doubt him. No. Get your people home, mister. Then get yourself a gun and kill any sick animals you see. Life will be just the fine. Darkness has come for us. <laughs> he was right. Who was right? I was. We're going to have to kill all of these. Oh, what is that? I shall save them. And who are you? There will be no more four-legged demons. The curse shall change. The curse has changed. What curse? These poor people. I will save you. I just saved them, and it weren't no curse. It's just sick dog. Dark charms. Possess the woods, I told you. Oh, he, he, did. he told me he did. He, he told me. I found one. Mm. That? Don't touch he it. He found the curse! Oh, found it. So? The woods are full of these. While they remain, the curse will remain. The oh, curse! Yet the woods are also full of demons. I, I will find Just shoot this way. guy right now and... Oh, have I lied to you thus? 
He never lied to me. Mm. Come, Obadiah. Feed me. So, you're saying if someone destroys those charms, the curse is lifted? The woods are full of demons. And the demons protect the charms. And the charms protect the demons. It's impossible. But what protects you? I can see that. It's impossible. Yeah, there ain't no demons. Don't disturb the woods. I told you. He would come. And he would help. And he would laugh. Well, yeah, you, you told us. Seriously? What in hell? This guy. And I don't even know. I don't even know what to do with these guys anymore. But there's charms in the woods over there that we gotta go take care of. We also gotta get we also gotta rescue John from uh from prison. Oh, and we got uh, another mission with that lady up north. Side quests are just coming out the woodwork. I love it. These poor folk here, they're just they're getting strung along, you know what I mean? Like it's getting strung along. By this Native American dude, who probably made them charms himself and went and hung them up himself. <laughs> they don't seem like bad people, they seem like they're just misguided. I mean, they very well could be bad people. And they're assholes to me. Dude's not even Native American. He's from Detroit. <laughs> well, Detroit is a part Look of America. It's me, Arthur. Good he to could see be back, native Arthur. from the land of Detroit. <laughs> Good work, pal. Well, he fooled me. He had some his clothes were looking he was looking pretty authentic. All right. He was looking pretty authentic to me. So, we got we got we got a lot of stuff on the burner right now like we got you know some a couple side quests we got sadie adler's quest to go save john that that i'm really looking forward to that's gonna be super duper dope um but yeah guys we've uh we're going on like five and a half hours right now i think we'll call it for tonight um we got 660 likes on the stream that is absolutely amazing i and i really do appreciate that and uh, generally, I don't do this because I, I like to give people a chance to catch up. So we'll see. I don't know if we can get this video if we can get this stream up to 800 likes. Let's say we get up to 800 likes by tomorrow afternoon. We'll do another stream of uh, Red Dead tomorrow along with uh, Skyrim. Because uh, I was going to do uh, Skyrim and something else tomorrow. But we're, I feel like I'm, uh, we're, we're getting to some good points right now. So, yeah, if you guys want to see more of this tomorrow, we'll see if we can get it up to 800 likes uh, by the morning. Or by tomorrow afternoon, and uh, if so, yeah, we'll do some more. We'll do some more uh, Red Dead tomorrow, also, along with Skyrim. So it'll be a Skyrim and Red Dead Redemption day, and I'm looking forward to that. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So again, everybody, thank you so much. We got a lot planned uh, for the future. I'm absolutely loving this game. Uh, if you guys have it on your way out, smash that like button. If you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more, really, really quick. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I really do appreciate all the love and support. Uh, you guys are super, super amazing. And uh, yeah, you all have a good night. Get that good sleep. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. Peace.